what the fuck we were talking about. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta start it off here. <laughs> you just made me blow a snot bubble. <laughs> God damn it! Out of order? Yes, we are. I think I could get used to glamping. <laughs> glamping. Yeah, glamping. That's, yeah, that's glamour camping. I like glamping. It's people, awesome. People in a tent in the rain outside, I don't see that happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. There's no pets allowed in this park. <laughs> We're going to have a picnic. How about this table here? That works. Looks like somebody already had a picnic. Ain't a bird. Nature's, Nature's neat. neat. We're at a Mexican restaurant, so why is there a picture of spaghetti behind us? <laughs> Look, I've been beat up. I'm sitting here drinking margaritas, if that's not obvious, with uh, down in Austin with. I'm just waving. And say hi to Steve Swirsky. Hey, Steve. I'm gonna come see you soon. I'm coming in August. Maybe I'll stop by and bug you. Most of your stalkers don't have a date of arrival, do they? <laughs> by June, we are here having Mexican food. Hey, talking June. about your book. <laughs> I, I got it turned around. We need a copy. We're talking about how prolific you are in your book that you spent how many decades? You, you worked on it longer than you've been alive. <laughs> yeah, Jesse Solomon was president. Tell him what you do. You just solve shit. I would just solve shit if I was president. Here we are in Matt's backyard. Outside of New Orleans. Got a little voodoo going on over here. Yeah? Yeah. Is that where all that racket's coming from? Yep. Hear it? Spanish moss. Yeah, the moss is awesome. <laughs> okay, so Matt, uh, apparently you have alligators on the property here in New Orleans. Uh, sure. Tell me about it. Two or three times a year before I cut the grass and get the mail, I have to kind of walk around and make sure there's no small ones, you know, like four or five feet long in the yard and get them out of the way. How do you do that? Well, if they're under five feet, what, do you, what I typically do is get a towel, you know, like a medium-sized towel, and I face them, and you drop the towel over their head. Oh. And they won't move, and you have to grab the front of their snout or their mouth because their pressure coming down is like 3,000 pounds a square inch, but they don't have the muscles to open their mouth. So you can oh, okay. grab them and hold their mouth closed, but you gotta watch for the tail because they're swinging like mad. You grab the base of the tail, so they're about like this, and they're fighting you, they're extremely strong. And then I walk to the little bayou in front of the house, or the one in the back, and and toss away from the body. And then I, and then I cut my grass. <laughs> <laughs> to Florida your brother was great that was a good time took me in a golf cart because I couldn't still fucking walk that's right that's <laughs> right yeah that was okay that was good. and then in the middle of his set there's a downpour of torrential downpour huge and he's got a flood coming towards his pedals because we're outdoors in this barn we're out in a pole barn yeah and I just see water start coming towards towards it and we cap the night with some righteous moonshine. There's all of a sudden, I go from Jesse to Jessi. <laughs> My first moonshine ever. It was fantastic. It was so unexpected. I thought it was just going to kick me on my ass. So I was just sipping a little yeah. bit. Such a fragrant peach and apple. It was unbelievable. 
Good Smooth stuff. Like, like a Ken really doll. doll. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth <laughs> like, like a Ken doll. doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to yeah. be just imprinted. In <laughs>
of sweet people out there. Yeah. Miss Jennifer. Yeah, in the South, I became Miss Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah, they'd greet you right away. It was yeah. good times, good people. I like how they greet me with that Starbucks and every Sam yeah. Ash. It was, yeah. it was like a warm hug of caffeine. Mm -hmm. Yep, much needed. <laughs> I know, it was really, really sweet. I've never had that happen before. Goddamn enablers. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I have a problem with too much caffeine. No. It's just no. stereo. That's, That's all you, it you is. You put those other two down. <laughs> That was good. Clearwater store is unbelievable. Mm. Sam Ash Clearwater. Wow. Yeah. The manager was a doll. Yeah, really good guy. Really good. You were at that He's one. Mm -hmm. Stashed a wheelchair. Yeah. For people like me that couldn't friggin' walk. What, what are you doing with that wheelchair? It's just how I pick up all the girls. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that was great. It was the old k pop tree restaurant. Palatial looking. I can't believe you remember that. k pop Sounds yeah. like a radio station. k pop k pop 101. Coming to you. It's like your face was on fire and you put it out with a track shoe. <laughs> k pop <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing you've ever seen in your whole life. <laughs> I had a good time when you were being interviewed at the TV station. That was, that fun, was fun, yeah. No, it was fun. You were gonna throw shit at me. I, I know. I I kept it cool. I know. I know. I gotta concentrate when I'm speaking because English is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> you did good though. It was good. It was a good one. You... Sometimes I just rip out all these words, and later I go, "Wow." <laughs> I know. That means nothing. I know. They... <laughs> and to there now ending, we can because my mother said I needed a course in remedial English. I think she was right. Okay. Okay. And did you notice that this degree over here, which is actually over here, yeah, oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> eight, eight, goes eight. To, I'm gonna get better. Eight. Oh, well, that's a good one right there. Yeah. And then um, Sunday, thirty oh, percent <laughs> <laughs> chance, thirty percent chance of Monday. Right. You probably know her from playing with Michael Jackson for three tours, uh, playing with Jeff Beck for three years. You were on the Super Bowl, nailed the solo. Uh, you've got uh, two books, a uh, published uh, author, and uh, three solo albums. And in your spare time, now you're on the road with a special creative seminar. So you're, so you're actually you know, imparting to the musicians at the seminars a lot of the stuff that you yourself do, because, I mean, you travel the world doing this. Be sure and check her out at one of these Sam Ash seminars. Uh, I think it's a, a great way to give back to the musical community and share your knowledge and experience to musicians like myself and others that can use it. Absolutely, and I, and I don't just tell people the good parts, I tell them the bad parts <laughs> and what to navigate around that I've been through. So I, it really helps people, and I've gotten incredible feedback and life-changing emails, so it's, come on out, it's great. Tell me about the gangsters around this area, sir. So, so we had a guy try to steal a mixer, but he couldn't hold his pants up. So he runs out of the store, he's walked out, grabbed him, and walked him back in because he couldn't, he was holding his pants and trying to run. That's how that was. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbest gangsters in the world. Ever. Worst. <laughs> Only in Nashville. before and after picture and why I use it. It just cleans cool. it up. Yeah. And I, I use it almost all the time. Unless I know I'm gonna need to open strings, it just keeps it cleaner. 
Yeah. So I keep it down or just flip it out of the way in a hurry if I want open strings or harmonics. Yeah, how cool. Oh, okay, I've got to ask this. This, yeah. this is like totally inside. So during the Flight of the Bumblebee video, did you, were you really covered in bees? I was. Wow, that's freaky. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I'm allergic now. We've got a, a shot of a couple of your uh, DVDs, and, and that's, uh, that's pretty neat that you're doing lessons with True Fire now. Now, also, you've got three solo albums out, and, uh, and I think we've got a picture of a couple of them right there. Uh, where can people find the albums and everything, your, you know, your website, your tour, the whole deal? Uh, well, you can get all my music on iTunes, or if you want the physical CD, come to Batten.com or JenniferBatten.com. It'll both funnel to the same place. So you can get it there. And all my tour dates are always, as soon as anything is confirmed, it's on my website. This is what a mohawk looks like from the front. <laughs> 